Hello and thank you for watching Guitar 101 Rammstein. Uh, today we're going to be looking at, I guess you could fit this into my series of exotic instruments. Uh, this is an ancient instrument called the sistrum. Um, this is, like I said, this is based on the Egyptian version. They were used as like a religious ceremonial instrument in ancient Egypt. And I mean, you can see Roman renditions of statues of Isis holding one of these and a lot of Egyptian artwork with these present. They have some of the collection of them at the Louvre as well. And these two I made myself. Um, I'm actually putting these up for sale today on my Etsy page. So I'll put that link below. And if you found this video through Etsy, let me know in the comments below. So I'm kind of curious how traffic will work that way. Be sure to subscribe because I'm doing more and more different types of instruments. And um, if you look on Etsy, there's quite a few people making and selling systems and all sorts of different styles. I didn't see anything like this, though, I have to admit. So these are going to be unique, one-of-a-kind pieces. Um, I made these about a month ago, so I've actually used them already in recordings. And I wanted to kind of test drive them, too, to make sure there's no flaws in the design. And make, I want to make sure everything I, I make and sell is of good quality. So um, some are fancy-looking, I've seen, and they don't sound so good. I had a Systrum... Oh, over 20 years ago, someone gave to me, or I borrowed it, I can't remember. It was a wooden one, because there's also an Egyptian version. It's, uh, I have some older ones I made that kind of fell apart, but it's basically like a just a piece of a branch like this with wires across, and usually they smash um, bottle caps to put for the jingles. Here I use bone. Um, I'll be making some nicer ones of these in the near future as well. They'll be considerably cheaper than the ones I forged because they're a lot easier to make. Um, so first, I'll go over the details on both of these that I have up for sale. We'll do a few kind of sound samples. And I'm actually, I don't know how well this is going to pick up on the mic. It's probably really loud, because I, I don't think I have a limiter on or a compressor. Um, so I'll actually record it with a microphone and put a, some sound samples at the end of this video for you to check out of both of these. Uh, the first one I made is this one. And this is all handmade, all hand forged. Um, I, this is a um, bar stock of mild steel, which I hand forged, split, uh, hammered out, did some decorative twists here, here, and here we have on the handle what's called a Rubik's twist. I'm going to put some photos of this because I don't know how well this is picking up on the camera, just so you can see the detail better. And of course, on the Etsy page, you'll, you'll see photos as well. Um, and the handle you can put a lanyard or something or a wrist strap if you want for it um, It's got three rows of the jingles and They are a uh, Bronze copper alloy, so they actually take to a patina which I put on this one uh, The patina I did clear coat them, but I mean if you use it a lot It will start to wear off, but also the older it gets a natural patina will form uh, the wires across uh, it's copper wire and uh, it's been seasoned with uh, boiled linseed oil to have a nice protective finish so it doesn't rust. Because, um, yeah, it is steel. I mean, I've seen some videos on YouTube that kind of found it a little funny showing how to play one. But I have handed it to someone and they're just like, they don't know what to do with it. But normally you're going to shake it back and forth. So they have a unique sound, something like a tambourine but different. Um, I always, I've used these a lot in recordings. I always like to add them over percussion. So it's a cool instrument, very easy to play. It also has some sense of rhythm. And I mean, you can also sort of like a tambourine, hit it on your hand. Um, so that's the first one I made. And then we'll take a look now at the second one, which has a little bit different detail. This one is only two bars, but it has a different sound as you can hear. And these copper pins is kind of based more on a traditional Egyptian design, which also moved back and forth to make a sound. Um, again, this is the same kind of uh, bronze copper alloy. These are actually from both of them. I got these from a broken Wuhan China symbol, which um, I repurposed. I have it here, what's left of it. It had a big crack in it. So uh, it was a good sounding symbol, but it was cracked. So. I figured out how to temper, how to anneal it, and how to forge it. Um, 
these were hand hammered as well to just kind of change the texture a little bit in the sound where these I just left straight so I didn't put a patina on these uh, again this is the instruments made out of um, mild steel that was hand forged um, hold it up a little and again I'll put some better pictures where we can see the details better has a um, leather wrapped handle here and this one this is what we call a in blacksmithing a crocodile twist that we put up here on the handle and a decorative ram's head at the end of the handle so as much as I don't want to part ways with these I really like them as it, it's it wasn't the easiest thing to make it takes quite a bit of time with the, especially doing these kind of decorative twists it's a lot of cutting and a lot that could go wrong I've had a lot of stuff like this I make and especially these smaller you know the horns things like that when you're hammering on a piece of steel that steel is not is you know it's it can be actually pretty delicate so a lot of times you almost finish with a piece and then hammering on it something breaks so um, I will make more of these in the future I actually made the second one because I was gonna sell this one and I was like I want one for my studio um, so I guess I'm gonna have to make a few more because I have a custom order that I'll be making for someone and I want one to keep um, also I do do custom design stuff so if there's you feel free to contact me if you have an idea or you I can give you ideas as well we can, you know of what I'm capable of making whether it's what type of twist it, it, a lot of different variations can be made of these um, but yeah so we'll get to some I'm going to record a few samples with it, a few short tracks, percussion tracks with these over it. So you'll get to hear them properly because, like I said, it's probably picking up kind of sharp on the microphone because I have the mic set to my, the level set to my voice instead of just the instrument. Okay, so I just threw together a quick track recording with uh, using these systems and a few other instruments. Um, it's just under two minutes long. So the first half I'm using this system, the first one I made. And what I did is I first part of that it's totally dry no effects at all and then later i added in as it still using this one I added in a bit of a delay and a reverse reverb and then the second half of the track i switched to this one you'll hear kind of a brief pause and you'll i think you'll hear the difference and did the same thing the first part is just dry with no effects at all so you can hear the exact sound of it and then i added a bit of uh delay and reverse reverb um I didn't want to go too crazy adding instruments, but I didn't want to just record this drum. Um, so I used this old cheap Bodron and played it with just a mallet. And I also used this broken Wuhan cymbal. It actually had a kind of a cool sound. So I, I used a bow on it where you can actually bow a cymbal you hear at the beginning and then also the mallet on it. And what else did I use? I used a 12 string guitar that I have to open tuning, which I use quite often. I have a video on that. And also this pick made out of the Wuhan symbol. <laughs> Okay, so just a quick track I threw together. Uh, it's very much in the style of a project I do called Acrobu. I'll put a Bandcamp link below. I've recorded quite a bit of stuff with it. I've been doing it for a long time. So you can check out more of the music there if you like this track. But really, just this was to kind of do quickly just to have a good audio sample of how these systems sound. So thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit like. Please hit, hit subscribe. It's always much appreciated. And uh, follow my Etsy page because... Um, I'll have some more stuff I'm making up there very soon. Until then. Thank mm -hmm. you.